Welcome to Tales from the Caveside, where Lillian and Chris, we bought a cave house and finca on the outskirts of a small Spanish town. Follow us as we learn to renovate and create a home that we will be proud of. It's time. We're going for it. This is going back outside and this is going to take pride of place in my dining room. Go out. Yes. <laughs> what do you think, Loki? Noise for <laughs> daft dog. Yeah. <coughs> so, well, because well, Lillian got Crocs for Christmas. I know. And she's got Crocs with socks. Of course, it's cold. No commando feet for you. No commando feet for me. Uh uh, no way, no how. Right, let's get this taken away. Yes. With suitable assistance. Yes. Well, whenever we do something, I'm swimming in dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> no, didn't go that way. Didn't go in that way. It didn't go in that way, did it? No. No, it did not. Uh, which way did it go in? That way. That way. <laughs> Can we flip it here? No, we can't flip it here because it won't you fit. Want? This won't fit in the doorway. Doesn't it? Not? No. Okay. Not a sewing machine. That was easy getting that in now. <laughs> <laughs> Wally. I know, isn't he a It doesn't fit this way. Maybe it fits that way. We well, did it the other day. No. Yes, Slap since then. Yeah. Aha! This looks promising. It kind of does. But then it kind of, kind of doesn't. Put it together. There? Yes. If you do that bit? Yep. I knew that's how we did it. There you go. I'll continue with this incredibly heavy table. Grr! Mm -hmm. So here we are, sat at our new table. Yes indeed, our lovely new table. Yes. I'm very happy with it. Yes indeed. Right, so, plans for this year. I know, it's weird talking about this year as in 2024, isn't it? Yeah. <coughs> yes, so, plans for this year. Uh, first things first, we need to finish the rental. Yes, we do, we do. Um, we need to also order a skip. <laughs> We like Skip. Um, but we'll, it's going to take a few days for Skip to arrive as it is Three Kings season here in Spain. Mm -hmm. uh, so that'll be three or four days before we can actually get a Skip. If there's any available. Yeah, we'll cross yeah. that bridge with the yeah. yeah. So to finish the rental, what we actually need to do is the rental will have its own independent kitchen and it's accessible from the outside patio area. And we have to basically gut it 
Yep. It's going to be completely gutted, completely redone, new kitchen units put in. Yep. All the old tiles taken off. It's, ta it's uh, tiled floor to ceiling with yes. tiles. They've all got to come off. Yeah. Um, we've had a significant amount of rain, obviously not as much rain as what the UK's experienced, but the roof doesn't leak. So it hasn't so far. No, it hasn't. <laughs> <laughs> There's lots of wood here and I'm touching it. Yeah, so therefore we are happy to start on the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Um, the ceiling will need to be fixed somehow uh, to get rid of the damage. Hopefully, it just needs another coat of paint and then that'll be it. Um, but all the old tiles have got to come off. Um, we believe they're only put on with cement. So that's great because if you've seen one of our early, early videos when we was doing in here. Hey. Doorbell. Doorbell. All right, back in a minute. <laughs> We're back. Yes, it was a delivery. <laughs> um, the Amazon guy wasn't sure that we were in because the dogs were outside barking. Yes. I wasn't sure what to do. I didn't think you were in. I was going about to ring you and see where you were. <laughs> <laughs> so where were we? Oh yeah. Um, so we believe the tiles are taken, done by cement, as I was just saying. Um, and the, oh, that's right. That's what I was saying, wasn't it? Hmm. In some of our early, early videos, as was doing, doing in here, um, you'll probably remember, or maybe look back, um, where we was removing some white tiles from the old shower room and the old kitchen part. <coughs> we were trying to save the wall, so we took the tiles off the wall, whereas it turned out the wall wasn't attached to the rest of the building, and it came down anyway. We did absolutely no need to have done that job of taking the tiles off. Yeah. The whole wall went in the end. But they were just on with splodges of cement. They literally got a tile, splodge of cement, stick it on the wall. Yeah. Next. So hopefully that's how the kitchen's been done. And I think it has. Because they're really easy to take off. Yes, once you get a start. Yeah. When, once you, you struggle with the first couple, and then once you've got a start, then they just ping off really, really easily. Mm -hmm. So hopefully that's good. We will have to be careful because there are some water pipes embedded in the wall, copper ones. So we will have to be really, really careful around there so we don't dig in too far uh, and then once that's all done then we'll work out a plan for finishing the walls tiles and probably plastered plasterboarded maybe so we're, we're, we haven't made the decision yet we've got to find what we've got underneath yeah to see what we then decide to do afterwards to make it good and then once <laughs> that's all done kitchen cabinets go in yes the floors are all good anyway in there so there's no damage to that so that's brilliant yeah um there is a little bit of adjustment to do with with the door because in the winter this time of year it doesn't stick it does stick in the summertime and it's a metal door so it expands so the clearances are a little bit tight that'll need to be looked at probably take some metal off the bottom of the door and just in one corner <coughs> and it's yeah. literally just in the corner uh, after that we then need to sort out some fencing to go across now we know we're not allowed to do construction or anything else like that, however we have to, spoken to the local mayor and the Technico and they say that's it's fine, it's okay, um, as long as it's not a silly silly digging construction so <laughs> we're going to be able to do that because it's safety for the dogs and also safety and privacy for any guests. So to, to, to explain that the bottom patio where you've seen us have skips and all the rest of it, that is going to be for the rental, that's going to be their area. And then the top terrace here, immediately outside where we live, is for us and the dogs. And we obviously need to keep the dogs separate from whoever's staying down there. Yeah. So it's, it's literally just a divider to keep them away. That's it. Um, and there's also some concreting to be done up there, which again is allowed because it's repairing, not creating. So that's okay. So we don't have any problems with that at all mm -hmm. um, around the well and a little bit there because it's it's breaking up and then I've got more monocapping to do and, and monocapping repair. So there's no point in doing the repair and then covering it in cement or concrete as you have to redo it again. Um, once we get on with that, then I'll be doing the finishing my indoor barbecue, which has been on the books for like two years. Uh, I've got to learn how to lay some bricks for doing it and looking around just to, um, because they've all got to be done at an angle so we'll finish that 
And then there's, there's lots of jobs to do in the house mm. here that we're living in. We stopped doing this to get on with doing the caves and, and the rentals. So once the, the kitchen is done, the fencing is up, I can then apply for the tourist license and we can then get on with turning that into a business that earns us some money. Yeah. This kitchen isn't finished. This wall isn't finished. The barbecue area isn't finished. Our living room that we live in needs a new floor. We've got to do something with some walls. There's some vents that need to be put in. There's masses and masses of work to do in here because yeah. we just made it Livable, more than livable to be fair, it's really nicely livable, but nowhere near finished. No, so no. we've still got masses to do. That's it, there's an island to be going where Lillian's motorbike is as well. Mm -hmm. Um, we've also got to find a solution for the bikes, they're going to be down at the bottom on the patio area where we store wood at the moment. So, all that lots to do. Um, and there are numerous other little jobs. Oh, we also have to replace a door, but you're thinking of just repairing the door and putting a padlock on it for now for now um and also the gate the, the main double gates there the um, where the pin for the gate goes into the floor um that's been damaged by a um forklift truck, forklift truck. um i've got some more metal to do that but that's going to be done after the skip's been just in case just in case so yeah yeah there's lots and lots and lots and lots for us to do so, yeah, it's going to be a big year this year, I think. Yeah. And in more ways than one. So, and uh, we're also going to be on the telly box. I know, we are going to be on British TV. Um, so this video is coming out to you on YouTube on Saturday the 6th? Yes. Yes. On Monday the 8th, if you have access to British TV, we are going to be on Channel 4, A New Life in the Sun, at 4pm UK time, 5pm Spanish time. We're actually on the show. We are featured on the 8th, the 9th and the 10th. For those of you that can't see it, like us, they are going to be sending me a link, apparently, to the videos that can be watched from other places in the world. And as and when I have those available, I will pass them on to you. So okay. anybody that watches it... Let us know what we're like on British TV because we can't see it. No, no. <laughs> um, yeah, well, I think that's about it really, isn't it? It is, yes. So lots and lots of plans. We've got lots of stuff to do. It is going to be a big year for us. We are going to finish the caves. They are going to be available for rental. And we'll actually get on with finishing our house. Yes. Which will be rather nice. That's it. Um, Lillian's going to also, I've just remembered, be getting some... Uh, red cherry shrimp for her little tiny fish tank okay yes yes we'll get some more pets yeah <laughs> i'm not allowed with the dog so i'm buying no. some shrimps that's right <laughs> um and then we are going to be converting our saltwater marine fish tank the big massive one over to fresh water it's just we just can't afford to keep it as going with marine um so that's another big project mm -hmm. and that's going to be a joint project because it's a joint fish tank the big one so, anybody who's interested in aquariums will be doing that um, and showing the conversion as well, which is actually quite easy. It's easier to go to fresh from salt than it is to go from salt. Uh, from fresh to salt. Yes, yes. Um, there's redundant equipment for a fresh water, a salt water aquarium that you don't need for fresh water and things like that, but that's okay. Right, talking head over. Absolutely. Thank you all so much for watching. We really appreciate it. Thank you for everybody that bought us a beer. We were overwhelmed. Thank yes. you very much. Thank you very, very much. <clears throat> and uh, hope you enjoy our journey during 2024 because it's lots of different, to be fair. Yes. Less cave, more standard style house. Mm. So, yeah. Right. Enjoy. Oh, and another thing. A couple of people have asked us if we'll do another live. If anybody actually would like us to do it. The sky's fallen in. <laughs> I don't know what that was. We'll have to go and have a look. If anybody does want us, not anybody, because two people have said they'd like us to do a live. If any other people would like us to do a live, let us know. We've got enough takers. We'll go ahead and we'll do it. Thanks for watching Tales from the Caveside. If you like what we do, Please consider subscribing if you haven't already.
Drop us a like and leave us a comment. See you on the next one.